Assalamu alaikum guys welcome to another video and I am back with another custom room plus custom kernel to overclock your redmi note 8 and this is the project sakura room and it is this is the latest build and official build for our redmi note 8 as you can see here its android version is 10 its security patch is 5 august 2020 which is the latest security patch and in this video i will show you how you can install it on your redmi note 8 and how you can un uh, overclock this room by installing a custom kernel so without any further ado let's get started so this is the official and latest build of project sakura rom and the developer did some changes like they removed the xiaomi parts and me sound enhancer and they added the moto audio to enhance and manage the sound quality and some sound performance as you can see here, here we have the moto audio and from here you can select the sound profiles like music movies and you can also create your custom you can edit the presets right from here you can manage the bass treble and uh, anything you want to do you can simply manage the whole audio performance from this simple app then the overall performance of this room is pretty good there is no any single lag or issue in this room smart charging has been fixed in this room a lot of things has been fixed and pre-installed here we have the oneplus launcher which is the oxygen os launcher and it looks and works pretty amazing as you can see here it is working perfectly and looking beautiful on this room and we also have some oneplus applications pre-installed like weather clock and etc the overall performance and app opening speed is also good as you can see here it is opening the applications quickly and pre-installed here we have me camera pre-installed in this room so this is working perfectly but don't worry if you are a gcam lover you can manually install any camera mode any gcam camera mode from the link in the description and it will work fine and the gaming performance of this rom is also good as you can see here i have installed the pubg mobile and asphalt 8 and they are working fine without any lag or issue in this rom so now let's dig into the settings and the settings first of all check the ui it is pretty similar to the one ui you can also turn it off from your customizations first of all we have the sakura configs here we have all available customizations first of all we have the about project then we have the interface from here you can enable disable the one ui interface then you can change the setting dash dashboard icons you can select the theme from right here battery bar rounded corners smart pixels and after it we have the animations then we have the quick settings from here you can simply enable the header image which looks pretty beautiful as you can see here you can also change the uh, image collections here we have a lot of collections provided in this room as you can see here you can use any of these to make your room look beautiful then we have the lock screen here we have some gestures like and the features music visualizer status bar power menu secure power menu then we have gestures here we have swipe three fingers to screenshot then we have the notifications and uh, here we also have the edge lighting in the misc we have advanced gaming mode and sensor block per package and other settings after it you can update you can check your uh, update for your rom and it is because it is a official rom then it will give you the updates at time after it we have the battery the battery performance of this rom is also pretty amazing after installing the custom kernel it will be awesome and here we have battery saver and performance smart charging which is working fine now and uh, after it we have the display 
In the display, we have brightness level, dark theme, live display, night light, styles, and wallpaper. In the styles, we only have one style pre installed. Then you can check the cloaks. Here, we have a lot of cloaks available to set, as you can see here, and they all are working fine. After it, we have the wallpaper option. From here, you can pick any wallpaper. You can also install amazing live wallpaper by watching my previous videos. Then we have some gestures like tap to wake, tap to sleep, wake on plug. Then we have the sound. The sound quality of this ROM is also pretty awesome because we have the Moto Audio pre-installed in this ROM, which really helps this ROM to enhance the sound quality. And in this security, the fingerprint is working fine, but unfortunately, we don't have face unlocking technology in this ROM. I don't know why. Even in the smart lock, we don't have the face unlock. Then we have the accessibility, the digital well-being, Google system. In the system, we have languages and input. Then we have the buttons. From here, you can manage the power rocker, uh, power buttons, volume rocker, and navigation bar buttons. Then we have status bar. From here, you can manage the status bar icons, clock style, battery style, and some gestures. Then we have the gestures. Here we have jump to camera, system navigation, lift to check phone, prevent drinking. And in the system navigation bar, you can enable the full screen gesture to hide the navigation bar pill right from here. After it, we have the backup, date and time, reset option, multiple users. And in the about phone, you can check your Android version, which is Android 10. And uh, it is the latest version of Project Sakura ROM for our Redmi Note 8. It's Security patch is 5 August 2020 which is the latest security patch. Now if you want to install this ROM on your Redmi Note 8 and you also want to overclock this ROM then just download the ROM and custom kernel from the link in the description. Then simply reboot your device into an installed custom recovery. The recommended recovery is TWRP recovery but you can use any recovery like Orange Fox or pitch black like I am using the pitch black recovery reboot your device into the installed custom recovery after going into the recovery go to wipe advanced wipe and from here wipe everything like Dalvik, ART, Cache, System, Vendor, Data do not wipe internal storage and SD card just wipe from here after wiping go to home go to install and locate your downloaded ROM mine is in the downloads and here you can check project Sakura GFs are pre included in this ROM so no need to install it manually just flash the ROM right from here after flashing the ROM go back now locate your downloaded custom kernel which is the 16 kernel just click on the kernel and flash it right from here after flashing the kernel just reboot your device into the system and uh, one more thing if you are installing this kernel on a custom ROM that's then no need to reflash the magix manager if you are flashing this kernel on MIUI then you should reflash the magix manager to keep your device rooted after installing this click on reboot system and the ROM plus custom kernel will be installed on your redmi note 8 so hope you guys like this video if you really did hit the like button don't forget to subscribe my channel keep supporting thanks for watching peace